Welcome everyone, I am Elder Geneva. Many people call me Mama G. I represent Lift Him Up Ministries and I'm always here to give words of encouragement. You can find me on Facebook Live every Saturday at 10 a.m. Please like, share, and subscribe. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Come on in, hallelujah, come on in and join me this morning for a word from the Lord, from the Holy Spirit. And we thank him this morning, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning, Evangelist Trice. Thank you for joining me this morning. I give God praise for you. Good morning, Sister Tina. Thank God for you. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. This is a wonderful morning. We thank God. Hallelujah. Good morning, Sister Barbara. Thank you for joining me this morning. So again, we are talking about um, prayer change things. And today we're going to talk about praying for results. Hallelujah. So, Father, I thank you this morning. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor, oh God. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will meet us, oh God, that you will meet every need, open ears to hear, and, and, and hearts to receive what you have to say this morning. So we thank you and we give you praise. And if, if it be that one that's not saved, even the one that may see the replay, that they will give their hearts to you, O oh Lord. And so we thank you and we give you praise this morning in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Good morning, Deborah. Deborah Jean. Thank God this morning. Hallelujah. I am Pastor Geneva, Pastor James. I represent Lift Him Up Ministries, and I'm always here to give a word of encouragement every Saturday at 10 a.m. So we thank God for that. Hallelujah. So again, we're going to talk about praying for results, praying for results. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I read from the St. John chapter 16, verses 23 and 24. And this is Jesus saying, and in, and in, I'm reading from the uh, New King James Version. And in that day, you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly, I say to you, Whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. Hallelujah. Good morning, Sister Faria. Good morning. How are you? So, again, uh, I'm going to look at uh, last week I talked about praying, praying for results also. But, um, I, you know, I discussed that prayer should be addressed to the Father Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, not uh, uh, for Jesus' sake, but for in the name of Jesus. And we, are, uh, and we know we are not to pray just to be praying. We are praying to, for results. Hallelujah. If results do not follow our prayers, then our prayer life is a failure. We are praying for results in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so uh, God, now he didn't put all of his promises and all of the statements related relevant, relative to prayer in the Bible just to fill up space. He put it in, in, in there for us to follow. Uh, the, they, are, they, they are there for our benefit. They are there for us to use. They are for us to act on. And one of the best ways in the world to pray is to just follow the admonition of the word and instruction of God's word. Hallelujah. I'm going to look at Isaiah chapter, uh, Isaiah chapter 43. He says, I, even I, am he that blotted out thy transgressions for my own sake and will not remember thy sin. He said, put me in remembrance. Put me in remembrance. Now you would think, well, God don't need to remember, but because he already knows it, know everything. But then the scriptures, he said, put me in remembrance, in remembrance. In other words, remind him of what he said in his word. 
Those who have been mighty in prayer have always been those who have come before God and have reminded him of his word, reminded him of what he said in his word and, uh, and of his promises. Now, Charles Finney, this was uh, back in 18, I believe 1829, I was reading like his autobiography, and it says uh, he, he was known as the man who prayed down revivals. He said, for instance, uh, in, his, uh, in his autobiography in 1829, Finney went to Rochester, New York, and conducted a meeting. And practically everyone in town got saved. All the hunky tonks and beer joints was closed down. There wasn't a place in town left where one could buy alcohol, anything alcoholic to drink. Nearly everyone in town had to have gotten saved in order for that to happen. So, I mean, he was a mighty prayer warrior, wasn't he? And Deborah, you know, you always, you say I always have some kind of story to tell. I think about um, way back, it, it, way, way, way back in the day, it was a place uh, called uh, Nanny Go Shanty, down there where I was raised at, down in the country. And we, you know, as teenagers, they would do a little teenage dance sometime, uh, I forgot how often it was, but it'd be a teenage. And my brother and I, boy, we we could dance. But see, they wouldn't have it when when uh, when the teenagers were there. They wouldn't serve drinks, uh, you know, sell alcohol because that was a special time for teenagers. But I thought about that when it, when when it said Charles Finney prayed, so he prayed that closed down all the beer joints and the hunky tonks. But that's what that was a hunky tonk. It was called Nanny Go Shannon. Good morning, Sister Marietta. Thank you for joining me. And so uh, when we are facing great needs everywhere, the sick, you know, the sick need healing, the weak need strength. What a, so we, 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 you know, we have to pray. We, we pray for those. We pray for those things and pray that we, and, and then we want to get, see the results of what we pray for. In First John 1 and 9, he's, uh, those who might not know the Lord Jesus Christ, First John 1 and 9, uh, it says, First John 1 and 9, I always have my uh, little stickers on here. First John 1 and 9 says, oh boy, I don't see it. Anyway, I'm going to move on. The, uh, but, and then we can pray, we can pray for, just pray, we can pray for anything. Pray for anything, finances, whatever. We, we just pray because we, we pray for results. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First John 1 and 9, it says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Hallelujah. That I was that's what I, I was looking for. Uh that uh he he uh we doing what you know what he wants us to do. And and so uh some of us, those who might not know the Lord Jesus Christ, that's what they're supposed to do. He said if they you, you confess your sin. Hallelujah. He is faithful just and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Hallelujah. And that's uh, for those that might not know the Lord Jesus Christ, those that are not saved. Hallelujah. So we thank God for he is faithful. And not, uh, when we pray for our finances, Haggai chapter 2, verse 8, it says, the silver is mine and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. So God has everything. He He didn't just put it here for the devil and his crowd. He put it here for us too. Hallelujah. So we we have to follow, you know, I have to pray, uh, pray to get results. Hallelujah. So we thank God. We thank God that we can come to him in prayer. Hallelujah. For everything. Hallelujah. We just can't thank God enough. And then we, when we pray, we pray specifically for people. Say, for instance, you're praying for someone who is sick. You call that person's name. Pray specifically for what 
for, for what you, you know, their need may be. Once we get the revelation of prayer, life it, it is so different for us because we know how to pray and how to get pray to get results. You know, like, uh, like, um, what is that scripture that says if there's any sick among you let him call for the elders of the church that will pray the prayer of faith which will heal the sick and so we have to pray in faith to for those that who might be sick who might not have enough faith but our faith hallelujah we have to pray according, you know, pray our faith to, to reach God, to get results. Hallelujah. So, again, if we are praying for souls, we have to stand on God's word until we see the answer. Prayer is the li prayer is the life. Prayer is the life of the church. And sometimes uh, uh, we, we may be praying for loved ones, especially the young ones. And, and, the, and the more you pray, look like the worse it get, they get or whatever. But we have to stand on God's word no matter how it looks, even for our own situation. You know, we, we pray and, and sometimes seem like, you know, the answer won't come or haven't come or whatever. But God wants us to stand on his word. Stand on his word. Hallelujah. We just have to stand and, and, and just believe. Believe God. Hallelujah. Because, um, you know, we... we you know, sometimes it look look like it's not going to happen, but it will. God answers prayer. He say he always fulfill his promises. Hallelujah. Always. He always fulfill. Whatever he has promised you, he's going to do it. You know, we don't know when, how, but he always fulfill his promises. Good morning, Lydia. He always fulfill his promises. And so we have to call out their names to God and claim those souls, claim their souls in the name of Jesus. That one that may have a child that's <clears throat> need deliverance for something or a love, any loved one. But and, and so we are we are always concerned about our loved ones. And so we have to pray and stand on God's word that they would be whatever you're praying for, that it will happen. We have to pray for our leaders, hallelujah, because God knows it's hard for leaders, ministers in this in the day. Even our government leads, our president, it's, it's hard for them, and so we have to pray for them. Criticism, criticism won't, won't get the job done. Praying we are, praying, we have to pray, hallelujah. Go before the Lord and have faith and trust in him, uh, uh, Deborah say. We have to have faith. And sometimes that trust will get shaky you because you, you know, you don't see the answer right there, right then in there. But again, we, you know, because the Bible says to, for us to pray for those who have authority over us. Hallelujah. And so we know uh, our, the, the uh, President of the United States, all that, the Congress, all that, we have to pray for all of that, pray to get results. You know, things look wacky and, and whatever, but we all we can do is pray and stand on God's word. And see, as, as, as we pray for others, <clears throat> the dew of heaven will fall upon us as, as we pray for others. Hallelujah. We all should always pray for others. And, you know, we pray for yourself, too, but we pray for others. And and, 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 and as we are praying for others, it, it, it seemed to make us stronger, you know. Good morning, uh, Elder Teresa. Good morning. And, uh, again, God's word does not fail. It does not fail. Hallelujah. It does not fail. When we come to God according to his word, his word does not fail. Jesus said if two of us would agree on earth that's touching anything, we ask it would be done. That's Matthew 18, chapter 18, verse 19. Hallelujah. Deborah said he may not come when we want him, but he's always on time. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us, uh, uh, Elder Teresa. But yes, yes, he may not come when you want him. Look like he might or well, not coming, but he's coming. And most time he's already answered the prayer. You look around, you think, oh, mm, that prayer, God answered that prayer already, you know. And so we just have to trust and believe 
believe God. I remember, believe God. It was a lady, an older lady years ago at the church, and she said, oh, wait, you have to trust and obey. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. You know, uh, Deborah, for real, you know, uh, what was her name? Mother, uh, oh, Lord. But anyway, y'all know who I'm talking about. She always will say, oh, trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way. Hallelujah. There's no other way but to trust and obey him because he... Who else you gonna trust? Who, who else can who else can do anything for you? Who else can help you but God? But God, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. He said he didn't say it might be done. He didn't say there was a possibility that it could be done. He didn't say if it was the will of God. He said it will be done. He said if two of you would agree on earth as touching anything that that we ask, it would be done. That's according to His word, though. According to his word, hallelujah. Good morning, uh, Eva. Thank you for joining me. Yes, it would be done. It's okay, it, he said it will be done. He didn't say it might be done, but it will be done. Hallelujah. So we have to trust him. Trust and obey. Hallelujah. For there's no other way. I will never forget that. Hallelujah. So if you are facing a storm, Hallelujah. Stand on God's word. Get, go in there and get that, get that word that he, he, that, that fits your, your situation. Get that word and stand on it. Hallelujah. And declare it that it will, that it will happen according, according to his word because his word, God cannot lie and his word will never fail. He always confirmed his word. He cannot lie. Hallelujah. As I said before, and I say it again, uh, when 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 I was uh, had this problem with the alcohol, and, and God gave me, uh, I was reading my little, I never forget a little Gideon Bible, and uh, uh, he, I went to, uh, I just happened to turn and it looked like it jumped off the pages, First Corinthians chapter ten. Verses 12 and 13, it says, There's no, no temptation as such, but that that is common to man. But God, but God, who is faithful with the temptation, he'll make a way for you to escape. And so I've always, I stood on that word, I internalized it, I was reading it over and over. That's not the only word I, I read, but I'm just saying you, that particular scripture you, you just stand on it. Even in uh, Psalms 23, when my son uh, passed, got killed, uh, I stood on uh, uh, Psalms 23, uh, verses 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. I knew he was with me, with me, but I, I had to, you know, it seemed like it sometimes. But I stood on that word. I stood, stood on it. I still stand on it. Hallelujah. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil. So anytime, anything that you're going through that, you know, his word, his word fit every situation. Hallelujah. You just have to believe it and stand on it. Hallelujah. That he's going to bring you through whatever you are going through. So whatever storm you may be facing. Stand on the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we have to look at just like uh, Paul did when he was uh, faced with that storm out there on this, you know, when it, when it storm, when he was out there in the boat, on the boat and stuff, uh, he, he had to stand on the word of God. Hallelujah. And so that's what we have to do. We have to stand on the word of God. I believe God that it shall be. Hallelujah. Whatever he has uh, told us, it will happen. Hallelujah. You'll find out that the devil and his demon will limp, limp away and in defeat in the attempt to oppose you and the answer will come. We have to stand on, you have to stand on the word of God. Stand on, stand. He says, stand. Therefore, hallelujah. Stand. Hallelujah. We have to continue to just stand on the word and 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 then we we we're, we're going to get results. Hallelujah, Hallelujah! If we believe the word, stand on that word, keep depending on God because He is the only one, the only way that we you know will come through. Hallelujah, 
Hallelujah. Again, Isaiah 43 and 26, he, he said, put in remembrance, remembrance, let us plead together, declare thou that thou may be justified, whatever it is that God that you need to be justified from. Hallelujah. So we know, we know, hallelujah, what God can do when we pray, praying for results. We, we, we uh, have to believe him. Hallelujah. And then we, when we are praying for the lost, we can claim the harvest of, of souls. Uh, Matthew nine and thirty eight, Luke ten and twenty. We can we can claim, Hallelujah, what we are asking for. You know, when we're praying, intercess, interceding, Hallelujah, for others, Hallelujah. That, so we thank God and we just give him praise on today. We thank him because he is the king of kings and he is the Lord of lords. He is the most high God. And if we are facing whatever storm we may be facing, we just look to the Lord. Because our help come from him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our help come from the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's all we can do. Hallelujah. That's all we can, uh, you know, depend on is the Lord. Hallelujah. Because our help come from him. Hallelujah. We are to pray again. We are to pray to the Father in the name of Jesus. As I said before, I was reading somewhere that people pray for Jesus' sake, but we're supposed to pray in the name of Jesus. And, and we pray until something happens. Hallelujah. We pray. We thank God. We thank him because we have, we know that He he's going to answer our prayer. So a lot, a lot of time we don't have to keep saying, well, Lord, give me this or whatever. You say, Lord, I thank you because I know you have answered my prayer. I know that you are going to hear me. You have heard me. I may not see the results right now. I may not see, you know, but but I know you have done it. Good morning, uh, Overseer Douglas. Good morning. Hallelujah. And so we have to believe, believe God. Hallelujah. And we will succeed if we just believe him, believe his word, believe his promises. Because he said he will never, he always fulfill his promises. Hallelujah. Whatever he has promised you, it's going to come to pass. You might not see it now. But he's coming. Hallelujah. So we thank and we praise God. Hallelujah. For God is, hallelujah, our strength. He is our help in a time of need. All we have to do is just trust him, depend on him, trust and obey. Hallelujah. And it is so. Hallelujah. So we thank and we praise God on today. And we give him glory. And we give him praise. And again, we're praying because prayer changed things, and we are praying for results. We're not praying just to be, uh, you know, oh, Lord, this or that. We're praying for results. Hallelujah. And we are believing God because we are praying the word of the Lord, and we are believing the word. Good morning, good morning. Thank you for joining me. Hallelujah. Up, up over see Apostle Douglas. Hallelujah. And so we thank and we praise God on today that we can, we for the power of prayer, we thank God that we can bring anything and everything to him. Hallelujah. And and, and we stand on his word. And like, like in Isaiah said, we, we, we put him in remembrance. Seem like you don't have to put him in remembrance, but he wants to, you, you know, it's, it's, you, you just telling him what he said. Hallelujah. And so that way he know you believe what he is saying. And so I think and I praise God today that we can continue to, to call on the name of the Lord because, and, and when we depend on his word, because he said his word will not return back to him void, but it will accomplish what it purpose to do. And whatever we want, whatever we need, hallelujah, whatever that we, we are praying for, we have to believe that God heard our prayer. Hallelujah. Because sometimes when you, you're praying for something and see, and, and so the enemy always try to put fear in you, you know, if you listen to him, he'll, he'll try to put fear in you. And, and and so, but we have to depend on the Lord. We have to stand on his word. And that's all I'm saying today is to stand on the word of God, praying for results. Hallelujah. Because prayer changed things. And we, when we pray, we pray on, pray the word, 
go back what's in his word. Hallelujah. And so I thank and I praise God on today for each one of you that has joined today. And uh, if it, anyone that is uh, don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, like I said before, all they have to do, I heard your word, Father, uh, and I, I heard your word, and I, would, I believe that you will save me. All you have to do is repeat this uh, prayer, hallelujah, and, 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 and when you do that, God hears your prayer. This is the sinner's prayer, dear Jesus. I realized I have sinned and let you down. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Lord, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me. I want to be saved. Jesus, come into my heart. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Hallelujah. You said in Romans 10, 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe that God has raised him from the dead, thou will be saved. So if you pray that prayer, you are saved. And find you a Bible-believing church, those that you know don't have a church home. And again, I want to tell you about uh, my church home is Agape House of Prayer. Uh, 41233 East Ann Arbor Trail in Plymouth Township, Michigan. If you're in that area, if you just want to visit, come and visit us and see. Because the word go forth, prayer goes forth in Jesus' name. We have a powerful prayer. Hallelujah. Prayer ministry. And so we thank and we praise God. Uh, Apostle um, Loretta Douglas is a pastor. Bishop Lee Douglas is the, uh, he's the bishop. And so we thank and we praise God for them in Jesus' name. And so I thank you all for joining me and join me again next Saturday at 10 a.m. Because we're going to be still talking about prayer. And so we're praying, like today we talked about prayer, uh, praying for results, hallelujah. And so we're going to keep on you know, to the Lord, Lord say the same. We'll keep talking about prayer. And so it's just it's just so good to know that we can come to the Lord <clears throat> in prayer and to how he hear our prayers. Hallelujah. And how he answer our prayers. All he wants us to do is believe. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. So we thank and we praise God. And I would like for you all to join, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's it's uh it will be on the Elder Geneva James. Subscribe to that. And so we thank God and we will be back next week in Jesus' name. The Lord said the same. We'll be back right here at 10 a.m. Thank you, each and every one. Thank you, Sister Teresa, uh Elder Teresa. Thank you, Sister Marietta Branner, Sister Deborah Ross, Sister Lydia James, Sister Eva Parkman. Uh Oh, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, o Overseer, Douglas, Deborah Ross, uh, uh, Sister Faria Hill, uh, I'm trying to think, uh, Baba John, I don't want to miss anyone, I thank all of you all, and I pray the Lord bless and keep each one of you in Jesus' name, that he will strength, continue to strengthen you, Sister Tina Edwards, I thank God for you. And so if there's any infirmity trying to attack your body, I pray in the name of Jesus that, hallelujah, that the healing virtue of Jesus will flow through your body even now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I thank and praise God for God is real. Hallelujah. God, hallelujah, is our strength. Hallelujah. He's our comforter. He will meet our every need. And so I thank God. I love the Lord. Hallelujah. I hope I call everybody's name. I know Sister Carolyn used to be on. Sister Meeks, uh, Elder Cohen used to be on. But if I, if I missed anyone, I didn't mean to. And so I thank God, and I will see you again next week in Jesus' name. God bless you, Apostle. We are, hallelujah. Thank you so much. Amen, amen, amen. Have a blessed day.